What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Shocker Racing Garage. I've got a little bit something different for you today. I am over in my dad's garage right now and I'm about to steal his C8 Corvette. And uh, I've got a little simple mod I'm planning on doing for him. He has been complaining on the C8 that he's been noticing that his radiator fins are getting all beat up from rocks and chips and different road debris, things like that. So I'm stealing this thing today and I'm going to resolve that problem. I've got a little something for it to fix that and uh, hopefully prevent a lot more rocks from damaging the radiators on the C8 Corvette. He's been mentioning to me how badly he sees that the radiators are getting beat up from different rocks hitting it and stuff when you're on the road. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna steal this here and uh, we're gonna show you how we're gonna fix this today. So I stole the key and of course, we gotta hit it with the remote start here. The sound is so good, so good. And that's the stock exhaust, unbelievable. Now, he did go with the uh, red and black interior in here, which I think is very good looking. So this is a relatively simple fix. We reached out to our friends over at the Radiator Grill store and picked up a set of these nice looking uh, mesh radiator grills. And uh, we're gonna be able to go ahead and mount these up inside here, something like that. And you can see that there's a lot smaller holes here in these grills. So it's gonna protect it. Obviously it's not gonna stop all debris from getting through, but you have to have airflow to be able to get through so that you're not causing overheating issues. So these are gonna protect the majority of the larger rocks that are gonna cause damage to your radiator. And uh, of course these are American made right here in the United States and uh, just a nice design, super easy install. And we did also pick up, cause this is a Z51 car. We also got the grills that are gonna fit a little further over here, uh, let me show you here in this grill area here to protect the little bit of radiator and the, the ducting right here. So the first step is to get it jacked up off the ground just to give yourself some clearance to work here. So I've got it jacked up and I've got a jack stand on this side. So looking up under the front bumper here, we basically wanna remove this panel. Um, and it looks like we're already missing actually a couple of bolts. Uh, right there, but we're also going to want to remove these uh, Torx screws here along there so we can drop this panel down Okay, so we're going to grab a T15 Torx bit And we're going to go ahead and start unscrewing these starting with this one here and just going around And then it looks like there's just one actual screw here, bolt. So I gotta figure out what size that is. And then we should be able to drop this whole panel down. So it looks like this bolt here is a seven, seven millimeter. So with all the screws and bolts removed, we should be able to just pull this down from the front side, drop it down. And of course there's leaves and debris falling out. Oh, it looks like I missed one screw there. Okay, with that screw out, obviously this comes down a lot easier. And uh, I'll be able to clean all the debris out of here. You can see the rocks, those are probably what have been denting the, the radiator grills. And then uh, we should be able to just access up and through here to uh, mount the grills. Okay, so we should be able to start by feeding the uh, Z51 grill piece up in here. And actually it looks like it's gonna go this way up in here. And I should mention, these are the aluminum coated ones that we went with. Radiator Grill Store does also offer them in an ABS plastic, but we decided to go with the aluminum. And uh, that's just gonna slide up in there from the opening underneath. So let me see if I can slide this up in there. Okay, I kind of finally got it started up in here. For the large opening, you're gonna wanna take your screen and you're going to want to it's going to sit like this once it's up in there but you're going to want to kind of feed it up like this and rotate it into place behind the other screen so let's see if i can get this here oh, 
Okay, I feel like I got it up in there. For each section of grill, they give you a good handful of zip ties. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start installing some of these guys in here. You'll want to reach your hand up in there and kind of get it in, locked into place. And then you're gonna install these in a handful of spots that are pretty inconspicuous. So really, so far, this is the hardest part is being able to get your hands up in here, hold the grill into place, and get the zip tie kind of set in an inconspicuous manner. There we go, I was able to thread the needle there. And you want to kind of loosely start it. Because you're gonna to want to have this out of the way so that you're not seeing the uh, zip tie in there. I'm gonna do another one down here in the corner. Once you kind of find the trick here, uh, it seems to be a lot easier. I can tell it's already holding pretty nicely, but we'll go ahead and we'll put a couple towards the top side here as well. This was a time where it helped to have an extra hand, so I grabbed Kim when she got home, <laughs> and uh, she was able to feed it through from the outside while I reach up from the inside and get this one because this was a little challenging. Okay, so with that one through, kind of tucked nicely in the corner, I can uh, just finish up this zip tie. Okay, so I've got three of them done. I just got to do one more in this upper corner here, somewhere over here on the right side. Definitely for these upper ones, it helps to have a second set of hands to feed it yeah, through to you. Yeah, I don't you know and... how you do it by yourself. These are cool. I like the honeycomb. Mm-hmm. And it'll protect the radiators there from rocks because they're already oh, getting rock chips. Oh, yeah. Now you just got to cut off the excess pieces of the zip ties. Okay, and then you'll want to do the same thing for these uh, center grill screens. If you're installing these, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get them up in there nicely into place, and then go ahead and zip tie them in. And the nice thing with these is that you can zip tie them back in there, kind of out of the way where you'll never see them. Okay, so I was finally able to get one zip tie in there, and then I did two zip ties in here, one up there, and I was able to come up from underneath and do one down in here so that those will be super inconspicuous. And all I gotta do is close up the bottom here and then work on the other side. All right, so with the first side done, I wanted to show off how they looked and be able to give you a comparison with the screens versus without the screens. That is gonna wrap things up for the C8 Corvette Radiator Grill Store screens install. Um, I'm not going to make you sit through the doing them on the passenger side. Obviously, it's exactly the same. Just remove that panel underneath, slide them up in there, and uh, zip tie them in. Super easy install. Honestly, the hardest part is getting the zip ties in there in a nice, clean, like inconspicuous way. Um, and you may just need a second set of hands to help you out with that process. But other than that, figure about half an hour per side tops to install these. And uh, I will make sure that I drop the link to the Radiator Grill store in the description below so you can check these out for yourself. And uh, if you have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comments below. I always do my best to try to answer questions. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel as I will have more sports car content coming soon, as well as always our Jeep content. So